Hi guys, this is JJ Lin, and I've just dropped my first English album, Like You Do. I've been doing Chinese music, predominantly Mandarin music, for the past 18 years, and dropping this English album in this point of my career is really just refreshing, uh, a little scary, but it's super liberating because I finally got around to do it. Born and raised in Singapore, English is my first language, and uh, it's been inherent in me. I feel I've always expressed differently in English. I really would want to like communicate with my fans and share music, share life on a deeper level one day. And hence, you know, with this English uh, drop, I feel that I will be able to connect with my fans differently. It's kind of like a restart, you know. I, I tell myself to see JJ Lin from a different parallel universe and imagine JJ Lin were to start out the debut, uh, what would that music sound like? What would the other JJ Lin in the parallel universe be writing about? I'm really happy that, you know, through, throughout this journey, I'm able to meet new friends and really start writing about the inner JJ Lin, the subconscious, you know, the reflections in life and the regrets in life and even using that to start like a journey of self-healing. I've been used to writing songs myself in my, my own room, my studio for the longest time. But this time we were able to come together as a group, you know, as a new, new group and uh, just do songwriting sessions from, from, from scratch. The challenges uh, making this EP was uh, the, the question marks, you know, the mysterious zones, because I've never been able to like really sing fully in English and, and reach out to a totally different audience. But I tell myself, you know, it's my debut, I'm a new artist, you know, I'm starting from scratch. So any comment, it's a plus for me. It's, it's, a, it's, it's something that I'm, I have to go through and face. It's a new me. Whatever works and everything will be helpful in my new growth. What I enjoyed most about this whole process was I, I was able to travel the world, meet new friends, and enjoy the best food in the world. <laughs> I think life, just living life, as, as a songwriter and as, a, and as an aspiring songwriter, as an aspiring debut artist, that's a totally mind, different mindset. The visuals for the album were pretty different because, uh, you know, I was playing the music in the background when we were doing our photo shoots and we were, we were traveling because I would see myself wearing like super uh, elegant suits. <laughs> we'd be on the farm taking the pictures or we would be, you know, on the mud in in a, in a full full suit, and then the other the other extreme would be I would be wearing super bright and stage clothing, but we were we were on a street. We were trying to convey it's like traveling between universes, where where this alter ego comes to our world and feels like hey it's familiar, but it's still different. And then we would go over to the other world and we feel like you know we are an alien in the other world, but somehow it's still. There are still elements that, that we were familiar with. So transition between parallel universes, that's what we were trying to capture. Working with Steve Aoki was a whole new experience because uh, I've always wanted to work with a DJ, but you know, Steve is such a fun guy to be around. You know, he's such an energetic uh, personality. And I'm really happy that we, we were able to you know, work together on this remix version of Not Tonight because he totally just changed it around and he just totally just put his his signature style and his sound on it and really just pumped it up you know i can't wait to do this live with steve working with Anne marie i feel is is so romantic in a way because we haven't really met you know face to face but i've been so drawn to her vocals i've watched her singing live i've watched her shows and i just feel that she's such a fun individual to be with and you know, I'm really happy that we got to uh, sing this duet together and it feels so intimate. At the same time, you know, it's a little mysterious and I, and I feel that uh, that's something that will draw me closer and I want to meet her in person. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoy my first English EP like you do because I truly enjoy it from the making of it, the whole process of it to sharing it with you guys. What's your favorite track? Let me know. Because I don't know it myself, I like all the tracks.